People have fucking money. I was once at, at this hike with like 200 men on self-improvement and all that shit. And I was talking to a guy, a YouTuber actually, a gaming YouTuber who made like, what, like 4,000, sorry, 43,000 subscribers, 43,000 subscribers. And I asked how much he was making and he said like, yeah, I'm, I'm making like 1,300 a month. 1,300 a month, bro, got like... 43,000 subscribers and I, I literally asked him like what the fuck is wrong like <laughs> you only make money through adsense like what is wrong like and he just said like yeah my people just don't have money so I can't really sell anything to them and I started smiling I was like oh fuck I can actually help this guy what and we were on this hike and, and we were talking and talking and then he said like yeah, I made a product and I actually promoted it in a video that got like 150,000 views. And nobody bought it. It was only $20, but nobody bought it. The, I only got one rea reaction from somebody who asked me, can you give me a discount? And as he was saying that to me, I was like, Fuck, this is a limiting belief and I need to break it. Because if I could break this limiting belief, it would be like... I don't know, you could start earning like 5k, 10k a month. And as I was talking to him, I, I asked him this question. Imagine I could give you a lottery ticket. A lottery ticket where you could, could be earning $20,000 in like 7 days. Guaranteed. Like nobody else involved in it. Like you 100% make $20,000 in 7 days. And you only have to invest $20. And I asked him like out of your audience. How many people... Could be able to buy it. And then I saw his. I saw his fucking face. I. I don't know if I actually broke the limiting belief. But I saw his face like. Oh shit. This motherfucker could be right. <laughs> and then I told him. To be honest bro. It's not about. It's not even about. The money it's. Bro, those people, your audience, you had like 13 year old gamers or something like that. Your audience is spending it on fucking Fortnite skins. They're, they can buy Fortnite skins. So I, I told him like, it's not about your product. Oh, uh, sorry, it's not, it's not about your price. It's about your product. People don't think your, your product is worth it, to be honest. Like, that's the only reason. People just don't think your product is worth the price. Because imagine they really, really wanted the product they sold. They would do everything in the world. They would try to convince their parents. They would try to, I don't know, whatever, whatever they would do. They would, like, bet they would tr lend money from their friends. They would do every single possibility in the world. And most of them s do still have fucking money. I mean, like, they're spending it on Fortnite games. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, man, that's just what I told him. And honestly, we were on this hike and I had to, I had to watch out where I was walking before I, <laughs> I fell off the mountain and there were so many people there, I couldn't concentrate. So I don't know if I broke this limiting belief, but if I broke it, I knew it would be worth like at least multiple thousand dollars to him. Because it's all about the fucking product. So for you, I want you to charge higher prices than you did before this video. I want you to charge higher because if you charge higher, people asso associate the value higher. You get better customers, which means you will, you will lose less brain points because people asking like six-year-old boys asking for refunds and shit. 
there are so many, so many benefits. They did a study with wines the other day and they, they gave the people the exact same wine. But one wine, they, they put a price tag of $10, $10 on it. And the, I, I'm just coming up with random numbers, by the way. But $10 and the other was $100. And they asked the people, like, which one do you think is the more expensive wine? Like, which one does taste better? And everybody said the, the more expensive wine tastes better. And it's the same, it's the exact same with your product. If you put higher prices on us, people, people will feel like it's, it's more worth to them. So I want you to charge higher prices. Fuck $20 products, bro. Let's go like $1,000 products. We were talking to, to a private chef the other day and he was like 40 and we, we told him like, yeah, this guy is charging like 2K, this guy is charging 3K, blah, blah. And he just said like, fuck you just saw his face lit up and he was like fuck two fucking k and it's crazy i know it's it's fucking crazy but it's the it's the opportunity of the of the new age it's the new age and, and you can either adapt or you die you either charge high prices or you lose the the business who can spend the most money to acquire client wins Adapt or fucking die. I'm going to choose to adapt, bro. I don't know about you, but I'm choosing to fucking adapt. And I'm choosing to make, like, more and more and more money. And here's the thing. Money doesn't even matter to me anymore. Like, I'm, I'm making, like, 1, 2, 3k a month. I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm free. Because I charge high. I charge high. And this is how I, how I help my clients make like $1,500, $1,000. It doesn't really matter. This is how I, how I help them make 3K in 60 days because it's way easier to charge two people $1,500 than to convince like 100 people to charge you $30. It's way easier. It's way less effort. So right now what I want you to do is I want you to become, of course you need to practice what you preach and become very, very smart at, at the things you, you want to teach and shit. And then I want you to charge high, like fucking crazy high. So yeah, man, I hope you, I hope you actually go, are actually going to charge high for, for these fucking things because it will genuinely change your life.